you know, I think this notion of international rules is very comfortable for some people to use when it suits them, but they don't believe in international rules when it doesn't suit them because they don't apply international rules or law equally in all circumstances. So you can't say because Ukraine has been invaded uh, that suddenly sovereignty is important, but it was never important for Palestine. It's very peculiar. If you believe in international law truly, then wherever sovereignty is infringed, it must apply. And this is the point we've been making, that we use the framework of international law unequally, depending on who is affected. And we are arguing that that must change. And one of the interesting changes that has occurred is the sudden movement, because Russia has invaded Ukraine, that we say, okay, let's not allow the Security Council to just have the veto and let it pass, we take it to the General Assembly. When some of us had been calling for the General Assembly to have a greater say, we never enjoyed support, but suddenly today, see, that's where international law begins to mean nothing. Because for some, we see it as a cheating, and for others, we see it as a benefit. So our argument is let's revise the international uh, multilateral system to ensure that we observe that post-1948 has arrived. That was the South African, I believe the South African Foreign, Foreign Affairs Minister or something of the sort. But um, whatever the case is, I must say it is not peculiar. It is not peculiar and it is not unusual. Not unusual. Those with power those who are privileged have always acted like this. You know, it was some years ago, the former prime minister of Jamaica, who was beyond his years, said that former prime minister of Jamaica, Percival James Patterson, PJ Patterson, he said in parliament one time, once, the law is not a shackle. The law is not a shackle. It is not a shackle for some. But it, is a but it is a shackle for others. That has always been the case. That has always been the case. And I will talk about this at my Caribbean Thought class later this evening, uh, my Caribbean Thought lectures at the Jamaica Theological Seminary. And of course, we will go into this talking about the issue of nationalism, the issue of self-determination, the issue of sovereignty, the issue of penetration. So it has always been the case with, the, with Haiti. Yes. It has always been the case with countries of the global south. It has always been the case. The term, how we, pers how we discriminate. How we make determinations based on our privileges. We will talk about this on the Neoliberal Realm podcast as well, and in my upcoming book, Neoliberalism, Neoliberal Globalization Reconsidered. I'm Ronaldo McKenzie.